Hello, and welcome to the setup video for the Radiant Heating GTSW-TIM-V Glass Screen Digital Timer Switch. This video is also applicable to the silver and black versions of this timer switch. To turn the unit on, simply press the power button found at the bottom right of the screen. To turn it off, press the power button again. To access the menu settings on the unit, you will need to make sure that it is turned off. When it is turned off, you will see a menu button above the power button. Press the menu button to view the available menu options. Menu 1 is used to change the clock format between a 12 hour or 24 hour format. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select the option that you prefer. Press Next to move to the next menu option. 2 is used to select whether the program schedule should be set to 7-day mode or 5-2 mode. 7-day mode allows each individual day to have a different program schedule, or you can set all 7 days to the same schedule. 5-2 mode allows you to set a different program for the weekdays and the weekend. This is a useful mode if your weekday routine differs greatly from your weekend routine. When you have finished, press the OK button to return to the main screen. If the unit is not turned on, first press the power button to turn it on. To set the time and day, press the time button. The time will begin to flash. Using the up and down arrow buttons, you can adjust the time. Pressing and holding down an arrow button will advance the time in 15 second increments, which will allow you to quickly change the time if you need to change it by a large amount. Once the time is set correctly, press the Next button. You will see a number flashing at the top of the screen. These numbers, 1 to 7, represent the days of the week with 1 being Monday, 2 is Tuesday, 3 is Wednesday, etc. Using the up and down arrow buttons, you can adjust the day. When you have finished, press the OK button to return to the main screen. To set up the schedule, start by pressing the Schedule button. If you have configured the menu options for the program schedule to operate in 7-day mode, the number will be displayed at the top of the screen. If you want to set each day individually, you can, however the easiest way to set up the schedule is by doing all 7 days at once, and should you wish to change the schedule for a certain day, you can always go back in afterwards and change the schedule for one of the days. To set all 7 days at the same time, press the 1 to 7 button. Numbers from 1 to 7 will be displayed, representing the days from Monday through to Sunday. Press Next. The time will now be flashing. The timer effectively has the capability of setting two on times and two off times, which will usually correlate to having it on in the morning, off in the day, on in the evening, and off overnight. Adjust the start time of the morning period using the up and down arrow buttons. Pressing and holding an arrow button will advance the time in 15 second increments. Press Next. Either on or off will now be flashing. If you are setting the start time for a period, you need to ensure this is set to on. You can do this using the up and down arrow buttons. Press Next. Adjust the end time of the morning period using the up and down arrow buttons. Press Next. If you are setting the end time for a period, you need to ensure this is set to off. Repeat for the evening on period by selecting the start time for the period and then setting the end time. When you have completed all times, press the OK button to complete the setting of the schedule.
press the Schedule button. If you have configured the menu options for the program schedule to operate in 5-2 mode, the numbers 1 to 5, representing Monday to Friday, will be displayed at the top of the screen. You are now setting the schedule for the weekdays. Repeat the process for setting the on and off times as previously shown. When you have completed the program schedule for the weekdays, press Next and you will notice that the number at the top of the screen changes to 6 and 7, thus representing the weekend. Repeat the process for setting the on and off times as previously shown. When you have completed the program schedule for the weekend days, press the OK button to complete the setting of the schedule. To change between manual and automatic modes, press and hold the schedule button for 5 seconds. When you see the icon of a hand, you are in manual mode and you can manually turn on or off power to the heated towel rail. To manually change it on or off, press one of the up or down arrows. The current status will start flashing and you can use the up and down arrows to change between on and off. To confirm your selection, press OK. Thank you for watching our video on configuring the Radiant Heating GTSW-TIM-V glass screen digital timer switch. We hope this has helped you with the setup so you can enjoy hassle-free use of your heated towel rail. Thank <music> you.